Well, the combined bands will now play an original work by Ashland City Band member Mark Jacobs. It's titled Exoplanet 42. This is the only the second time that this piece has been performed. It was premiered by the middle school band at their spring concert. I'd like to introduce Jennifer Carsonson, who will conduct this piece. Jennifer. I'm really short. Most of my students are taller than me. So um, Mark is a friend of mine. We sit next to each other in the Rogue Valley Symphony. And um, this past year during school, I had so many students in band. 200 students were in band at the Ashland Middle School this year. And so I thought to myself, I have enough students to create a top-level advanced band. And I have enough advanced kids to make it happen and good instrumentation. So I created Ashland Middle School's first wind ensemble. And there were about 50 students in the wind ensemble. And the 20 students who are on stage with us tonight were part of that wind ensemble this year. And Mark came in one day just to work with the kids and coach them, because I often like to bring in professionals to work with them. And he was listening to them warm up and having a really good time. And he said, you know, I'd really like to write a piece for your group. And I was super flattered to think of having something written composed this year on the spot for my students and my program and my wind ensemble is really flattering. And I was so excited and then I was a little bit scared because Mark writes amazing music and really complex and really intriguing and intricate. And I was getting concerned as he, as before he wrote it that, oh my gosh, can we manage this piece? But he also has a really good sense of humor so I thought, whatever he comes up with, the kids are going to really enjoy playing it. And as the weeks got closer to our concert, the piece was not finished. And the kids were asking me, what does it sound like? How long is it? Do I get to do glisses? Do I get to trill? Do I go really high? Do I go really low? Is it really fast? Is it really slow? All these questions about the piece I couldn't answer. So I kept being in communication with Mark saying, how soon, how soon? Well, three and a half weeks before the concert, it was finished. And that's not a lot of time in middle school. That is maybe 11 hours of rehearsing. It might sound like a lot, but when you have a brand new piece and you want to make sure it's perfect, it didn't feel like a lot when I heard the news. And yet, on the very first read, the kids loved it. Mark is such a genius. He wrote a piece that was super kid-friendly, funny, intricate, and at just the right level of difficulty for us to be engaged and intense for the entire th three and a half weeks and to have the energy to want to perfect it. And that was my goal. I thought to myself, if Mark is writing us a piece and we're going to do a world premiere, we have to make it great. So he wrote us this piece. Here's my score. This is my giant score. And he was writing it. The, there were all these exoplanets being discovered, so he just discovered his own. This piece is about that discovery. It's called Exoplanet 42. And it is based a lot on some things from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is really fun. A lot of kids have seen that or read it. And there's a lot of um, funky things in here and a lot of fun things in here. And I hope that as you hear it, you can pick those things out. Sometimes when you hear a new piece, you will wish that you could hear it again, just to hear more and more of it. We are not going to play it twice. <laughs> but I will say that as soon as the kids began rehearsing it, it got stuck in my head. It was stuck in my head day and night, and their heads too. So I hope it goes home with you and gets stuck in your head too. This has been fun for the city band, and my kids are psyched to get to play it again. So without further ado, we'll play Mark Jacobs' second world premiere of this piece, Exoplanet 42. Thank <laughs> you. 